Today's episode is brought to you by Patreon. If you're interested in supporting the show, go to patreon.com slash Joshua and become a $2 backer today and get early access to the new episodes. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below, but for now, on to today's episode. You're listening to the Augmented Experience Podcast. My name is Joshua Bellas. I'm a student, musician, and a gamer at heart. Join me as I sit down with fellow enthusiasts to talk about what's going on in the technology, business, and gaming world. I hope you guys enjoy. everybody welcome back to the show my name is joshua bells i am your host as usual and obviously today's the friday episode and i really hope you guys enjoyed the episode on wednesday because (laughs) yeah i wasn't expecting it to be that long so i apologize for that guys but i hope you know whoever actually sat through all the two hours and 30 minutes you know really enjoy the conversation with juan and me uh it was a really great crop really great talk to be honest and i really hope you guys enjoyed it also shout out to juan for for his willingness to do that and come on my show. I really appreciate it. But today's episode is going to be a little bit different, but we are going to delve a little bit more into the video game space today because we are going to be talking about Ninja going to Mixer. And I primarily didn't want to cover this story when it came out due to the fact that I wanted a little bit more information to come out and to see a little bit more of the results of it. And it kind of shifts the narrative a little bit because it's not necessarily that we're going to focus specifically on Ninja, why Ninja left Twitch and went to Mixer to stream exclusively. And, you know, we're not going to, we're not really going to focus that much on how much money and the contract, because a lot of those details are a little bit wonky and you'll be getting a little bit of different, I'd say inconsistencies from different parties, depending on who you ask. But what we mainly want to talk about is, I'd say, the repercussions for this and what it really means for the streaming industry, especially because I think a lot of people, and I know I'm going to throw a hot take on the table right now, that a lot of people consider Ninja the face that puts streaming on the map. And what I mean by that is a lot of people, when you think of a streamer so big that anybody that never seen anything regarding his streams or anything doesn't know what he plays but when you say his name they automatically know who he is and that's not because they know him it's just because his name is just out there and i think this is where things become a little bit interesting and how this actually affects streaming as a whole and obviously the main thing is how is this going to affect twitch because you know this kind of presents an option for streamers now but let's break let's go into it so last week obviously the news broke that ninja posted on twitter a little video that he did like a little conference saying that he would be streaming exclusively on mixer for a set amount of money for a certain amount of years and yeah that's pretty much how that goes is ninja basically just told everyone hey guys i'm leaving twitch and i'm gonna go stream on mixer only for a couple years um in terms of how much money he really made off this deal it's kind of a little bit unknown. I think the the esports, I think they, I think they got an estimate that they said that it was probably ten million a year for about like three to six year contract in that range is what everybody seems to be assuming. Some people say that the contract is probably like six to eight mil, three years, maybe three to four or five, like you know, in that area. But it was clearly a large sum of money, and it's a lot of money for a, for like for each year. So. And there's probably more perks to it that we don't know about. But like I said, a lot of that information really isn't available. So we kind of mainly... Not, that's why I said is we don't want to focus on the money. Because that's not what this is about. But the main question that came up that people were talking about were... How are other streamers going to react to this kind of news? Like now that this is legitimately the first time a streamer is paid a set amount of money to stream exclusively on a platform for a set basically almost like a sports contract and i kind of like how the esports broke it down and they essentially made the comparison that yes this is the first time that esports players or specifically a twitch talent has been essentially offered a contract that's similar to almost a like in a professional sports contract the same way and 
it's interesting that all this news happened, especially after the Fortnite World Cup and everything like that. And obviously the media, you know, bashed that 16 year old that won $3 million. Obviously, it's dumb that they bashed him. That kid worked really hard to earn his money. And yeah, he was the best Fortnite player in the world because he won. <laughs> he, he beat all those other people in a world tournament. So obviously, congrats to the winner of that. But I think overall, when we think of the landscape of streaming, this does alter, I'd say, three big categories. And I think the first one is how streaming is perceived now, because now it's no longer perceived as, I'd say, the platform that you're streaming onto is the attraction, and then you're just putting stuff on there. Now it's you're the attraction. And that's essentially what Mixer has done, is they put money on the table and said, hey, we'll pay you this amount of money to stream on our platform because you are the talent and you deserve to be paid for your talent. And... It's kind of crazy, to be honest, because obviously now Ninja's plastered all over Mixer. Obviously, he already hit over a million. If I'm correct, he hit over a million followers on Mixer already, if I'm correct. I think, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He hit over a million followers on Mixer. And yeah, it's really crazy that Ninja was able to do that five days after leaving Twitch. Obviously, Twitch wasn't really happy about him going to Mixer because they took away his, his, I'd say, checkmark on Twitch. But this kind of proves the point that Twitch is not really in a good position right now, especially after the whole scandals and everything going on with Twitch, like, you know, how they're treating female streamers and everything like that, how they have a preference that they don't tend to punish female streamers the same way as other people, which obviously to me, that's messed up because obviously you're showing a bias towards a specific type of content. And well, I'm not even going to call it content because a lot of people consider it cam girl light, but they're kind of throwing they're real content creators on the bus with this stuff because they're banning them for doing very minor stuff. And these Twitch streamers, or I would say these on air talent girls are just going on the platform and essentially just essentially being like an adult website, a light version of an adult website is what they're doing. They're that's why people say cam girl light. That's essentially what they're doing. And obviously this is a clear violation of Twitch's policies. We're not going to stand here and debate it because it, clearly in there you can't do that what they're doing but they're getting away with it you know obviously everybody likes to bring up the incident with the girl and the cat where she threw her cat across the room and spit vodka in its mouth obviously it's animal abuse we're not going to stand here and argue it that clearly is animal abuse and twitch didn't punish her that much she barely got punished and people were like this is kind of bs ban her channel she should not be able to do this this is this is illegal (laughs) this is very messed up and Twitch obviously banned another channel for doing something that really was very minor and didn't really break the terms of services, but he got banned anyways. So a lot of people were pissed. And the fact that Twitch, I would say, I'm not going to say they don't care about their talent. I just think in terms of screwing them over and having preferences toward this specific type of content is pretty messed up because Twitch started off as a platform for gamers to post themselves, to essentially put themselves out there, allow them to stream their content like see basically show everyone how good they are at the game they're playing and it started that way and then essentially it became a little bit more convoluted because now everyone can everyone can stream on twitch you can put anything on twitch you can put podcasts on twitch you can put you know live reaction to video game well you can basically live reaction to video game shows on there you can obviously uh i think it's only one specific guy that can do this that's partnered with the nfl but you can actually stream games on there like actual live NFL games on Twitch. Um, And it kind of strayed away from this focused on gamer mentality and focusing on gameplay and showing like live streaming, essentially games. And because of that, a lot of people are now tantalized about this offer because Twitch, yeah, to some people, they'll actually tell Ninja, Ninja, what were you thinking? You're crazy for leaving Twitch. You had a very substantially large following. Obviously, yes, he's far away from his peak already. He clearly is. We're not going to stand here and say Ninja is at his peak. If it was Ninja at his peak, I highly doubt he would have done this. But I think now that Ninja's, I wouldn't say he's not like doing bad because obviously he's still pulling good numbers too. We're not going to stand here. He's still one of the most recognizable faces on the platform besides, you know, Shroud or obviously Dr. Disrespect. Like these very recognizable faces he may not be on top or on par with them or Tifu, 
but he's still well known because ninja is a very i'd say a rare uh anomaly is what i would consider him because ninja i wouldn't even consider him a gamer anymore to that degree he's kind of transcended the whole twitch streamer and actually became a like basically a celebrity is what he is now because people know his name he's on big endorsements obviously like some people kind of bash ninja because they consider him too pg um but i would say he's smart essentially i think he's playing the smart move because he's trying to brand himself out he's trying to be i wouldn't say at least be he's not being fake but he's trying to be honest with himself and you know if I want to have these kind of sponsorships with these companies, I need to keep in check what I'm doing because I can't just get away with whatever I want and people will pay me money for it. That's not how this works because you have to have some form of class, I'd say. You know, and that's why I said a lot of people kind of find this interesting with the whole Mixer situation is, you know, who else would go to Mixer? Is Dr. Disrespect? And I know a lot of people have been saying that they think Dr. Disrespect is considering of going to Mixer. Um... Do I think they'll offer him a contract? Maybe, maybe not. Um, it really just comes down because obviously we know how Dr. Disrespect is. And, you know, depending on how Mixer wants to present themselves, do they are they trying to focus towards more, I'm not going to say kid-friendly content, but at least more, more relaxed, more tame and focus on gameplay and just really fun gameplay and not like a dude going absolutely mental and swearing his, <laughs> his mouth off. Um, I think Mixer might not do it they might not want to advertise Dr. Disrespect. Um, obviously, Tifu is in some pretty hot water right now with the whole thing with Face. So, I don't know. Maybe Tifu might not. Shroud's probably the best bet, I think. If they throw him a good amount of money, I think he will. But this also kind of loops back into that point that I was making of the whole idea of Twitch streamers being taken more seriously now and actually being paid for what they are, which is they're athletes i wouldn't well yeah, athletes essentially they're talent they're entertainers they need to be they should be paid they should be offered contracts to do what they do it's not that twitch is a platform that you know i'd say like in terms of how the money cut and everything goes it makes more sense that a streamer shouldn't just be streaming on a platform just because the platform is the privilege no you go to a platform to see the talent the the talent isn't the platform it's the people and I think that's what Mixer kind of did well. And I think that's what a lot of people kind of may not see this right now. That this move from Mixer was a move to change the perception and how streaming is going to be done and how it should be approached. Because this isn't a, as I mentioned, Twitch has kind of put it as, or I'd say the way that they position themselves as, hey, we're the we're the reason you're here like it's not because you're good it's not because you provide something to the table it's not like we're providing you the platform so people are coming here because it's our platform and mixer is kind of turning it on its head and ninja actually want is kind of promoting that and essentially that's what he did is when he mentioned that quote in his tweet in his twitter video where he said i want to go back to my streaming roots which is, and I'd say the streaming roots in this instance could be considered actually being the center of, I'm going to, well, try not to be conceited about it, but you're essentially, you're the, the attraction. You're like the streamer, him, streamer, him or herself. They are the attraction. You're coming to see them. Like you're paying to see them. And that's overall what I think Twitch has been really bad about is they kind of taken that away and made it that the platform is more important than the talent and because of that they're able to get away with some pretty shady stuff with their talent and i think with ninja going to mixer it kind of shows them that hey there is an alternative you there is other options like yes mixer is nowhere near as big as twitch but mixer is owned by a really big company it's owned by microsoft and microsoft is a really big company just like Amazon and Switch, and Amazon's a really big company too. And if we know anything about AMP, or specifically Microsoft, if we know anything about Microsoft, if they want to get into a market, they will throw as much money as needed to get in there. They will. Obviously, prime example was the Surface Books, you know, or the Surface, the Surface Pro specifically. They spent billions of dollars investing in that technology, and they finally paid off. And obviously, now they're very popular. A lot of people really enjoy Surface Pros for college. Uh, obviously, engineering students specifically love them a lot. Um, obviously, Microsoft's attempt to get into the headphone space, 
you know, they made the Surface headphones, which those were a good active noise canceling headphones. Obviously, the competition, you know, it did its job. Sure, it may not have been the best active noise canceling headphones, but it made the competition step up their game, which that's why I said is Microsoft is smart. They'll throw money until they can make the competition be better. That's essentially what happened with the Xbox, with the Xbox brand was, you know, the Xbox One S or the Xbox One to begin with did not start off good. It was in a bad place. They advertised it as a media box instead of an, a gaming console. Bless Phil Spencer and the wonderful magic that that man has worked to help the brand pull back and push it in the direction. And I'd say they even pushed the competition to be better. They definitely pushed Sony to be better, especially in terms of hardware. Maybe not games, but in hardware wise, yes, the Xbox ate PlayStation's lunch this generation, like very easily. Like, you know, we came out with the Xbox One S, which obviously it made some good improvements, got rid of the big power brick, just made it a cable, you know, 4K Blu ray player. And then we got the One X, which outperformed the PS4 Pro. And then you have obviously the next Xbox, and you got, and because of the next Xbox, and specifically I'd say the One X, pushed Sony to put more power under the hood and compete with Microsoft in terms of power. Because yes, even though they may be doing incredibly well when it comes to the games and everything, the hardware was a little bit lacking in comparison. So it pushed the competition. But that's why I said is Microsoft, if they want to get into a market, they will throw as much money as needed to make a noise. And they'll do it. And I think with this, they threw a good amount of money at Ninja's way to it because they knew who is the one person that we know we can bring to this platform and help show people that there is another option. And obviously the answer could only be Ninja. Because, as I mentioned, Ninja has transcended the typical Twitch gamer. He is not your typical. Like I said, is he is a celebrity at this point. He is a household name. He is made for the rest of his life. And some of you be like, no, he's definitely not. He is. Let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's try to be as objective as we can. We may not like him as a guy. Like, some people may not like him, and that's fine. Like, I'm not going to stand here and try to defend him, but I'll be honest. And I'm like, yes, he is a household name because you can ask anybody on the street who Ninja is and they'll know who he is. Like in school, when I was in high school, everybody would always tell me, hey, bro, have you seen Ninja? And I'm like, who's Ninja? I've heard of him before, but I never, I don't know who he is. And they're like, oh, he's a Fortnite streamer. Yeah, bro, look at his clips. And it's crazy on how like people that never met him or at least never seen anything about him know his name. Like I knew his name and I didn't even know what he did. And... But that's what I'm saying is Ninja had was the only one that they could have gone to to make this happen. And even if it fails, even if this whole experiment fails and this even if Ninja goes to Mixer, gets all that money and still can't make a splash and it all fails. It doesn't mean it was a failure. It just means that he laid the groundwork and to show people that Twitch streamers should be should essentially be consider the talent they should be paid for being athletes they should be paid for being competitors like they should be this should be the norm that they should be offered contracts to come to people's platforms it's like what happened with pewdiepie when he streamed that game on that one platform i forgot what it was called but he streamed on that platform for a set amount of money same thing happened with ninja when he was paid a million dollars to play to stream apex it's the exact same thing is the talent is what's the important thing and i think this is what twitch has forgotten and really, we have to see how Twitch responds to this because right now, I'm not going to say Mixer is currently eating their lunch, but they're making steps in the right direction that's tantalizing for more people. It makes more sense for the content creators because they're putting emphasis on them. They're treating them as the stars that they are because they are providing all this content, all this entertainment to these people. They're working like a good amount of time. But that's what I'm also saying is, when you look at the how Twitch manages everything and that they try to make it as they Twitch the platform is the is the brand is the entertainment they are the everything and you are just putting stuff on there like it's going to be a vastly different because Ninja doesn't need to stream every single day to earn money now he already has his money set and he can stream when he feels like it so he can focus more and have a little bit more fun while gaming and that's not as Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thanks for your donation. It's not focusing on the money now because the money's already there. And I think that's what Twitch has kind of, I'd say, made Twitch streamers focus on that a little bit too much. And it's kind of taken away that fun. And I can only hope that this, I'd say, movement 
makes streamers become a little bit more aware and empower them a little bit more to realize that they are more valuable than what they're being perceived as that twitch may not be willing to acknowledge them as the attraction but another place will and mixer has already shown they'll pay top dollar to get the best so it really comes down to who's next you know who's the next big streamer that's going to say that they'll go on mixer for a couple years and stream on there and if they like it they'll probably renew a contract and stuff like that and really we have to see how twitch responds because it'll be interesting with all this stuff going on with twitch and the controversies with twitch a lot of people aren't liking Twitch because of all the stuff they're doing. Obviously, we know what they're, what they're doing, the whole cam girl lights situation, but we really have to see how is Twitch going to respond to this announcement? What are they going to do? Obviously, we kind of saw what they did because they got really petty and removed Ninja's checkmark because they got super petty about it and they got pissed. And it was pretty funny because that's why people were flaming them for that because, you know, that just shows they're so petty and so like pissed off that Ninja did that. But he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have any agreement with him. Like he's the talent. Like Ninja is allowed to essentially go where he wants. Like he's allowed to produce content wherever he wants or wherever he feels like is the best place to place his content. He is the attraction. And my personal opinion is that Ninja was the only one this could have worked with to start it off was he had to be the one to do it because he is that celebrity. That's also a gamer that's very popular. And obviously more streamers, I assume, will go to Mixer. It just really depends on who. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Obviously, this is a big story because it is... Essentially, this is a long-term game is what we're looking at. This isn't a short-term game. This is a long-term game to change the streaming industry and to change how streamers are perceived and how they're going to receive compensation for what they do. And I'm excited for it. I think it'll be great. Obviously, for the people on the lower end, you know, it doesn't affect them now. But as they get bigger and bigger and bigger, they'll start to see that these improvements and that this change in direction are going to benefit them because now people are going to pay money to have them on their platform. They're going to be offered contracts, essentially like like a sports franchise, essentially. That, yes, you have the top tier players, you have the mid, the mid carters, and you got the... I'm not going to say the jobbers, but at least like not not mid tier, but they're still being paid. They're still being paid a good amount of money. So I feel like the streaming industry is going to go in that direction. Like Mixer, you know, so far has put the ball in Twitch's court. It just really depends on what Twitch does. Really, the only way this can go is either Twitch responds appropriately or they just keep going down their same, I'd say, rabbit hole that they're or really the grave they're digging themselves. I think that's probably the better term because of what they're doing, but Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you guys so much for your time, for listening to today's episode. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend this week. Um, obviously, as you guys know, you know I'm going back to college soon, so I'm really excited for my second year of college. Um, I hope that you guys keep me in your thoughts and prayers that everything will go well this year. And I hope you guys keep enjoying these episodes even while I'm at college because I know it's going to be a little bit interesting to see how we do it this year. But thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys to death. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.